Good morning, everybody. Another week is here. Tuesday morning, yesterday was a holiday, Truth and Reconciliation Day in Canada. So there was no work. We're starting off Tuesday here at PBX. Gonna stop in and grab a couple parts, a couple things I need for my truck. And we gotta go deliver those machines that I had on my truck last week that I picked up in Quebec. So on this last trip, remember we went to, uh, oh, I'm gonna get my window rolled over. Uh, we went out to Quebec there, we picked up those uh, machines there in Valcourt. And I have three drops today in the Winnipeg area, Manitoba area. We actually have our first one in Steinbach, uh, then in Winnipeg, then in Gimli. But first, on this last trip, I noticed on my way back, uh, when I got back to the shop, uh, sometime on my last day there, I had developed a little bit of a leak in my hose uh, for my power steering. So I got that all fixed up this morning, uh, but now I, I need to have extra power steering fluid with me in the truck so that if it happens again, that I, I, I'm not left stranded, right? So I'm just stopping here at PBX uh, this morning just to quickly grab some more of that and uh, say hi to everybody here, because uh, this is my shop where I take my truck to get all the work done to it. I like to sit and chat with them sometimes if, I, if they have time. I mean, I don't want to take up their day, but they're friendly people and uh, I like talking to them. <laughs> So let's go and say hi, and then let's get back to work. Oh, am I gonna get an arm pump? Am I gonna get an arm pump from any of these kids? Come on, I wanna honk my horn. <laughs> Everybody's going to school. Ah, nobody's looking, they're all looking the other way. I get just as excited for those arm pumps as they do. I remember being that kid and hoping so hard that they're gonna honk their horns and getting so excited when they do. I'm gonna stop for you. Go ahead. I'm not messing around with that. It's a crosswalk they need to get to school. You go for it. I'd hope all other drivers would do the same thing for my kid. Manitoba, specifically Hanover. Uh, the 
municipality or in the states you call it counties, right? But the municipality of Hanover, that's where I hail from. That's that's my home. And uh, we are the uh, leading municipality of pork production, I believe. If you like bacon, where are your people? Alright, let's get these things delivered. Let's check all of our lights before we leave. Marker and signal. Marking. Quality air. Quality compressed air. Quality, quality, <laughs> quality fall air. Okay, got my tarps right there. Brake lights, marker lights, signal lights. License plate light. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna stick my head in here now and check my brakes and listen. No air leaks. Okay. Don't bonk your head on the way out, Josh. Quality air, quality air, and quality fall air. Okay, this trailer seems good. My load is still on there. Let's check my truck tires while I'm here again. Checked them before already, but you can never check them often enough. Okay, alrighty. Signals and lights on the truck. Yep. Okay, one more thing. Safety. Due November of this year. And it is October 1st when I'm filming this today. I know it's a little bit behind when I release this on YouTube. Sorry about that, but I need that time to edit it and put it together. I'm a busy guy, it takes a little bit of time. All right, I'm dropping eight of these off here. And once they're done unloading their eight, I tie down the rest that are still left on there, and then we go to Winnipeg. I got another eight to deliver into Winnipeg. Then we go to Gimli, and the last eight get delivered there. I really need to get taller stacks on that truck. It is on the list, don't worry guys, it's on the list. It's a bit of a long list. And I have some other things to take care of first. Gotta get that front end lowered too. So much to do. And look how dirty it is. Look how dirty she is, oh, it's awful. There we go, another two came off. So that's four. He's got another four to take off yet, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, that's eight. Okay. Kind of a weird way that they loaded it, right? Now it's like my load is like boop, 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 boop. Why wouldn't they just put it all at the back for the first drop and the second drop in the middle? First drop, last drop, of the guess it doesn't matter at least we didn't have to move any of the other ones I'm just gonna double check to make sure that those ones at the back do go to the next place they don't go here and then we'll start making our way into Winnipeg and uh, deliver this next drop and then rush up to Gimli and remember we picked this trailer up in Brunkhild Manitoba weeks ago already I'm thinking they're probably gonna need me to bring it back there and <coughs> excuse me and drop it off that's usually where these triaxle rentals go, is uh, back to Bronkill. But uh, I guess we'll see once once we're done the day. Nope, that's right. Those he, he took the right ones. So, alrighty, okay, let's get going. Okay, so I've got this figured out. My next stop is that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That there and that there. My last drop is those eight at the front, six and two. So I guess it kind of makes sense how they loaded it, right? But the first drop was like four and four. And now I'm left with this. Good thing I only have to drive about an hour down the road like this. This would be like a double parachute for me. Wind would come over the back of my truck there, hit that first one, go around it while it's dragging me down, and go between there and then hit that next wall and drag me down before going around to the back. 
That'd be like a double parachute going down the highway, but it's only for an hour. So not gonna be too bad. Then we'll get rid of those back there. We'll rush up to Gimli, get rid of these. And while I was in the truck, just after I finished talking to you on that last clip, I got my next load assignment. We're gonna go and switch trailers at our yard. Uh, get rid of this triaxle, grab a tandem, and we're gonna head to Kenora and grab another Brainerd run for tomorrow. I like those Brainerd runs. So you pick it up in Kenora, Ontario, right? You gotta tarp it, but that's fine because they have a big machine that helps you tarp it. It's super easy. It's the easiest tarping you can ask for. You tarp it and then you run down to Brainerd, Minnesota, which is about six hours down the road, and you unload there. I can pretty much, I can usually do that in, in the same day. Pick up in the morning, deliver in the afternoon, depending on when I, I should be able to do that tomorrow because we'll get to Kenora tonight yet and we'll sleep there tonight so I can get going first thing in the morning tomorrow, get that unloaded, and then I can start heading to my reload. Sometimes they send me back up to Kenora for, for another one. I can be back there the next morning or they send me to Minneapolis or uh, anywhere in Minnesota there around the area there for a reload back or sometimes I come back empty. But uh, yeah, let's get this trailer emptied. Let's do some trucking. All right, off we go. One down, two to go. Oh, can I get through here? Ah, I think I can. Just gotta watch out for this uh, auger sticking out behind this combine. Oh yeah, no problem. I can get past it. Like a glove. She wants me to go right and then make a U-turn and then come back. Karen, why don't I just turn left now and skip that whole process? And everything's full of dust in here. That engine fan, I'm telling you, I want to I want to create a little barrier at the bottom, like underneath my engine, so that that engine fan doesn't kick up so much dust all the time. But I've got my AC on because it warmed up, right? And then that kicks the engine fan on. I had my windows open. Now I'm gonna have to dust my whole dashboard. That's wonderful. Green light. Green means go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here's our friends, Brown's Plumbing. They're the ones that take care of all of our uh, plumbing and heating in our house. We are MVPs. Which means we're special. And we pay for that specialness. Continue on this road for 16 kilometers. That's where my friend Marvin works. That's how we met him, actually. <laughs> He came to our house to fix our pill switch in our sewer. And then our wives became great friends, and then our children became great friends, and then me and Marvin became friends. And that's our story. He's a good guy. Uh, we went fishing a couple weeks ago. You remember that? I don't know if you guys saw that video or not. But I asked them if it was okay if I would film and vlog our fishing trip together for memories and stuff, and they said yep. Yeah. So. It's up there if you want to watch it. It's in my home time playlist. We're facing northbound here on La Jamodier Boulevard in eastern Winnipeg. Getting close to my next delivery. Should be pretty quick here now that I know exactly where those eight are. Just got to take those four straps off that are holding them down and zip, 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 get them off. Book it up to Gimli. I'm actually at, ahead of schedule. Though I am getting here right during lunch hour. It's 11.59 as I'm speaking. So I might have to wait until after lunch to get unloaded. But we'll see how they uh, run their operations here. Maybe they'll unload me anyways and take lunch after. You never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. Stop. Report to 
shipping office. Where is the shipping office? I'm guessing it must be just around the corner there. All right. Oh, I'm gonna have to put my my clear lookers on so that I can see a little better. It's probably gonna be dark when I get inside. Darker than outside. Often I forget because I got prescription shades, right? So often I forget that I'm wearing my shades and I walk inside and I'm like sitting there like wonder why is it so dark in here? Got the wrong glasses on. Okay, I'm gonna take my paperwork, I'm gonna go find the shipping office here, let them know I'm here, tell them I don't want their stuff anywhere, they can have it. I don't want it. my straps off we're ready to be unloaded here I think they're on lunch though just like I thought so that's okay everybody needs to eat it's not my lunch time but eh, I'll eat later so one two three four five six seven eight that's for them got it back here in the clearing where they got lots of room on both sides get these off the trailer and we'll just have these eight left up front for Gimli all right, we're leaving Winnipeg. We're facing north on Lajamodier again. We're gonna go to the north perimeter out of the city. Take the perimeter westbound over to, what is that, Highway 8, I believe? And take that straight up towards Gimli. We're about one hour away. We'll be arriving there about three o'clock. They know we're coming. Should get unloaded a little quicker than here. That took a little bit longer. Well, first of all, there was an hour lunch. I had to wait for them to get back from lunch. And then after lunch, they had a couple of other things to do before they could get to me. So it took a little bit longer than I expected, but we're still on schedule. Now I only have eight crates left on the trailer. Those are all going to Gimli, so that'll be super quick for them. We don't gotta like pick, pick through all the serial numbers and stuff making sure we got the right ones we just got to verify the ones on there are what they're expecting it's just a lot quicker that way quick now I guess we'll go out with that exit there got the rest of those things off and now I've got to bring this trailer back to our yard switch it out for a tandem with only two axles on it see if I can find a step deck if not I'll take a flat take my tarps put them on the other trailer and we'll head towards Kenora I might stop at home for supper on the way Like I was saying, I might have time to stop by at home for supper. We'll see. I have to swing by there anyways because I forgot my passport at home. I have to swing by there, pick that up. Good thing it's kind of on the way. A little bit out of the way. It's pretty much on the way.
ready for tomorrow's work. Turn left on Highway 231. Get all set up. We'll get to Kenora tonight so that we're ready first thing in the morning. And hopefully we'll be able to get uh, loaded and unloaded tomorrow. All right, so we've got a little bit of change to our plans. I need that. I need a new steer tire. My passenger side steer tire uh, needs to be replaced, and I'm uh, gonna get that done today. But uh, we're running out of time before they close. So what we're doing is we're gonna go straight there now and get the tire replaced right now. Then I'm gonna run home, grab my bag, my passport, and then I'm gonna go switch trailers and then go to Kenora. On the north perimeter now, facing eastbound. My tire shop is in Blumenort, right where we were this morning, just down the street from PBX. We're gonna go straight there. I would like to replace, you know, both steer tires at the same time, but my driver's side one is still doing really good. I just don't know if like the passenger one, if it was just a dud, if it was a bad tire, or if there's something wrong in my suspension. We've had everything looked at just recently, so it has to be the tire, right? Well, I'm gonna get that tire replaced anyways. Uh, and I'm trying something new. I'll show you when we get there. I'm trying a new brand. Oh, we made it just in time. They're gonna replace my passenger side steer real quick. They close in 45 minutes. Very thankful that they're gonna get it done for me yet. What I did was, I tried a new brand of tire. So you remember in the back, on my drives, I put Blackhawks on there. I've actually been very, very impressed with the Blackhawks. They've been wearing beautifully. They've been running beautifully. They've been a very good tire for me. Now my friend Moses has been talking to a lot of other drivers on the road who have been running Blackhawks on the steers as well. Asking them, how have they been for them? And he's actually gotten back some pretty positive feedback. So, I had to replace one one steer. The other steer is still good. It's going to be good for another year, at least. But my passenger side one wore all wonky. And it was a Firestone. I was running Firestones on there. I'm not very impressed with the Firestones that I had. So I've switched brands and I've gotten a Blackhawk tire for my steer. It's an offshore brand. It says Made in Vietnam on it. But get this. The Michelin tires... Everything said and done here in Canada where I'm at. Balanced, installed, everything. A thousand dollars, approximately, for one tire. This tire, everything said and done, balanced, installed, five hundred dollars. Half price. Just like the drives. Remember the drives were half price from the Michelins as well? And they've been wearing just as good as any Michelin I've ever run before. So I'm going to give it a shot on my steer as well and see what happens. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I'll let you know how it goes, though. I've got to quickly run home now and grab my passport and have supper and shower. Then we're going to get back on the road, we'll go switch trailers, and then go to Kenora. And I'll show you the tire yet today. And I'll show you what it looks like. And uh, it looks just like any other tire. But I'll show you what the tread pattern looks like and stuff. It's, it's exciting getting new rubber, right? But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you yet. So patience. Okay, we got the tandem step. We just charged it with air. I'm gonna go make sure that uh, all the lights are working. Tires are inflated with, you know it, premium autumn air. Very important, gotta have the right air in the tires. That joke never gets old, just so you know. <sighs> Thought I had an air leak there for a second. Nope, sealed itself. I love that when problems fix themselves. It's always the best. So we got yep had to take out that license plate light and uh, clean it off but it was a bit corroded had to clean it off and got it working again wasn't working there eh. okay checking the tires beautiful oh yeah you can feel that air in there that is good okay 
let's get going to Kenora. I'm gonna go there and sleep. So we're at the end of our day here now, and uh, it's dark, but we'll see if we can give you a look at this, this tire. This is the new Blackhawk. Some pretty good tread on there, right? It's the Blackhawk. Uh, what does that say? BFR57? I know my rim's a little dirty right now. It's still polished underneath there. I just need a chance to clean it. It's been a busy couple of weeks here. Yeah, that's what the tread is looking like. And so far, running here to Kenora, it's, uh, it's been great. Nice and smooth. All the problems have been solved again. This is my driver's side. It's the Firestone. This one has been wearing evenly for the most part. A little bit more on the outside here. On the right side, but for the most part it's been wearing pretty evenly. But the one on the other side was just one side wore down really quickly. And then I rotated it, I spun it around so the worn down side was on the inside, but that didn't help. It was too late at that point and it just destroyed the tire and it just shaked the whole truck. And uh, so I wasn't too impressed with that Firestone. But you know, this one's been doing all right. This one's a Firestone, uh, what does that say there? Can you guys see that? Firestone FS591. And these steers are 295, 75R, 22 and a halfs. So this one's still doing good, so I left this one. So thanks for hanging out today, everybody. It's been a pretty long day. Uh, we started off at home, uh, ran out to get our trailer, came back to Steinbach, delivered that, eight pieces there. Went up to Winnipeg, delivered eight pieces there. Went all the way up to Gimli, delivered eight pieces there. Ran back down to Blumenort, got that steer tire changed, ran home. I didn't have supper at home, but uh, we did go for a short walk together, my wife and son and I went for a walk and I had a shower. Then I jumped back in the truck, ran back to our yard, switched trailers, got the step deck, then ran here to Kenora. It, it was, we actually got quite a bit done today. And I still have an hour and six minutes left on my 16 hour day. Not bad. So I hope you'll tune in tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to subscribe right now so you don't miss it. Hit that bell and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you all tomorrow.